We got some. In the criminal justice system, sexual <laughs> offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate are. these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. You're being ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. Because you've seen a lot of it, you just didn't see that many. So we got some hachito fries. We also got some elote con hachito. Or sauce. Burritos. Mingonada. It was like a lot of food now. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of food, I told you. I told you it was a lot of food. The dump site where they found the baby was on the way. Jail receptionist said that he was wearing a long coat and carrying a duffel bag. Probably made the calls to establish he was looking for sure a cold shower bigger. at home. What we find at the jail. Like Unfortunately, scooping. nothing there links to the crime scene. The dump site was like no regular locker. Mm -hmm. And see if she mm -hmm. won't even bother checking no, the train okay. tracks on public showers. Can't blame them. We're canvassing the cab companies. He had less than half an hour to get home. No. I don't think he took a cab. Come on, come on, come on. He's been fairly meticulous so far. That would be one more witness he could need. Could he have run? Remember, he's a therapist. Plenty of time. That has been. Go, Brad. Mm. No, see that's what I'm saying. He's uh, Jack Ritter. Oh yeah! Ritter. And then yeah, he's Jack in the show. Mm -hmm. Jack, yeah, Jack, yeah, to that dream mm -hmm. company. <laughs> Come on, the show. Now it's definitely John who played Jack. That's right, I forgot. He was the husband. Well, there's no gym bag. But then they like, no wasn't she sleeping with someone else? So the baby was probably the other person. This is for John. Of working out this gym equipment for some reason he has feelings of being unattractive unmanly his advantage is that he's extremely intelligent as evidenced by his careful this plan ironically he's probably a pretty gifted psychiatrist especially admires gift for killing babies it's a symptom of the same problem he's preoccupied <laughs> with order he thinks that if he can control every detail of his life then he can become this man that he wants to be mm -hmm. his wife wasn't so easy to control look at this mess well, when she threatened to destroy the order that he created, then he went to extremes to get it back. Can I have that? They don't want to give us that. Let's do a little bit of that, though. But I'm not helping too much. Like, I'm a messy eater, eater as you know. What the hell is this? Oh! It's a search document. Matt, my man. You can't march in here and destroy my home. Yes, you'll bite me in the ass, isn't it? All those new labels you'll have to make. Oh! Let's try to set a case. Yeah. Oh, I need those. Mm. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. These ones, will you? See, the problem with blood is it gets absorbed by plastic. Can't wash it off. Oh. What is that supposed to be? Probably. What we're looking for. Pro murderer tip. <laughs> be prepared. Mm. I'm Dr. George Huang from research today. I've got it all over my face. <laughs> Can you see it? Bruh. <laughs> I can't tell. I can feel it. <laughs> I was like, like, yeah, I was like, what's it? <laughs> like a booger. <laughs> 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 having marital problems. Working on solving them. She left you. I wouldn't say she was leaving me so much as going to the man who fathered her child. She just thought that was the best solution to the problem. Mm. But it was the wrong solution. And now her problem doesn't exist because there is no child. Hmm? Well, yes. Yeah. Well, actually, Dr. Manning, Nicole wasn't going to marry Kyle Munchen. All she wanted was to get away from him. Nicole doesn't know what she wants. Apparently, she wanted to have a relationship with another man. Why? She probably. Oh, they always like to fuck with him, huh? Lacking these Apparently. <laughs> What is it you were lacking? Okay. I wish that I, I like the wine. masculinity. A little amateurish. <laughs> no. I think he's challenging your masculinity because it's a pretty obvious weakness. You're smart guy. <laughs> your problem is you think you're smarter than everyone else. That's why you screw up. You been to the gym lately? That can be a problem. 
Yes, I, I forgot to mention that. I did go to the gym that night. I was very worried about Nicole, so I left. Oh, well, That's the thing with like celebrities so on it. You are like, such a it. genius. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not coming on your show unless I get to be the murderer. So, yeah. I want to know is how in the hell Nicole fooled you and believing you were the father of her child. Your wife made Damn, they get so I love my wife. You made her pay for yeah, it. Yeah, he's with the baby. He just wasn't smart enough to do the job, right? I don't even know what that means. Nicole will never have children again, Dr. Manning. <laughs> And I will you. You screwed up, smart guy. You couldn't be more wrong about me. All I care about is my wife and my family. It ruined everything. Your wife's child. It? Yeah. And so you got rid of it. It? Wouldn't anyone? Oh. Sounds like a confession. Wouldn't anyone? Damn. This is. Hey, honey. <laughs> Arrest him. We've got him for attempted murder and assault, one for the attack on the mother, plus abortion. Mm hmm. And murder. I fucking love. He killed that baby. Warner, oh. certain of that? Baby was alive, now it's dead. What's the problem? The problem is whether or not we can establish the baby was legally a person. But how do we do that? Prove the baby was born alive according to New York State law. Something that indicates it took a breath, a move. Mm -hmm. If it died while it was still in its mother's womb, it technically wasn't a person, so it's not murder. I'm gonna if eat that all baby this. had been born in a hospital, it would have left. But it not. Neonaticides are notoriously difficult to prosecute because the medical evidence is almost always inconclusive. Without a witness stating unequivocally the baby was a live birth, I'm just not certain we'd get a murder conviction through. Best we can do yeah. is illegal third trimester abortion. That's a D felony. We'll get more out of the assault charge. At seven months, a baby moves inside of the mother. The only reason that baby is dead is because he bashed its skull. I don't care if you call it a person or not, that's murder. That argument could also be used to condemn legal abortion. Do you want me to charge every doctor who performs an abortion with murder? Abortion is different. It's the mother's choice. We're not talking about the mother's rights. You want to charge for homicide. The fetus is the victim. You get the fetus rights. Do you want to go down that road? It's not the same thing. In the eyes of the law, it is. The law needs to change. I don't know why. You can't have the eyes ways. of the law. The fetus is either a life or it's not. You saw that baby. Olivia, you saw that baby. This guy's gonna walk. And I don't mm. like it any more than you do. But this is very dangerous territory. And I'm not say you better to eat this to it it off. on an inconclusive case. We're gonna let a murderer get away to preserve a political ideal. I know what I'm doing here. Take a break, detective. <laughs> Elliot. I love Sarah. He's so fine. Medical evidence the baby was born alive. We've got something to work with. But I will not charge for murder in the death of an unborn child. You and your partner practice self in Warner's office until she hands over that autopsy. Alex, unless you've got any plans, I want you there too. Why? You need solid medical oh, evidence. Okay. Make sure Warner's got it. Mm -hmm. Presence of gas in the stomach, contracted umbilical cord, subpleural and subepicardial petechiae, partially expanded pulmonary alveoli, fully aerated crepitant salmon pink lung. In English? He took a breath. Probably more than one. So he was a live bird. That's what we're oh saying in our report. God. To be clear, if I'm going to charge Richard Manning with the murder of the baby, that means I drop the abortion charge and the attempted murder charge of Nicole. We can only have one theory of the crime, either he was trying to kill his wife or his child. I mean, you better be damn sure you only got time for assault. Neo makes decompose at a faster rate, so there's an inevitable margin there. Which doesn't do us any favors. You need to be willing to testify to a reasonable degree of medical certainty this was a live birth. I am. Get it, girl. Supersede the indictments. I'm Mike Cameron. Mm -hmm. There's a new movie coming out called Old, where like, Everyone I was like aging really fast. have a static test on the lungs in order to determine if they've been inflated. Dr. Warner, you are looking at a guy who failed biology. You are all horrified. Science idiot. What is a hydrostatic test? The lungs are placed in water. If a significant portion mm. of the lungs float, it means they had been inflated, as was the case here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dr. Warner, will you define post-mortem putrefaction for me? It describes the series of changes that occur to tissue after death. <clears throat> Those changes include the formation of gases such as birth captains and hydrogen sulfide, right? 
Who's like, yes. excuse me, I'm stupid and sorry. Mm -hmm. Did you deflate the lungs, reinflate them, and then repeat the test? to expel any gases that may have been present due to decomposition. Performing the test twice is often misleading. So you probably didn't do it then? Objection. Mm -hmm. So there are plenty of tests the doctor did not perform, none of which are relevant. Overruled. The witness may answer the question. I did not perform the test a second time. Okay, you were probably busy that day. You're on. Let's keep up the pace, Mr. Langan. Mm -hmm. Is it possible the expansion of the lungs could be attributed to post-mortem putrefaction. It is possible, but there are other factors. Do you're right, though. Jesus, to the right. Dr. Warner, tell me, for a baby to be considered... Look at that smug motherfucker. Huh. Expelled He's out. Right. <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit. Yes. Is it possible a fetus can take a breath <clears throat> while partially expelled? but die before it is fully expelled. Oh my God. Yes, it is possible. The nickel and diming of fucking people's is there any way to determine atrocities is just like... Taken, assuming it was taken to begin with. You fucking kidding? Short of eyewitness testimony? No. But we don't have that. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Warner. You've been very patient with my ignorance. Because he's right, detective. We can't prove how and when that baby died beyond a reasonable doubt, and if you want to blame me for that, go right ahead. So we got nothing. Barring an outright confession, <laughs> yeah, you better get these away from me. Unless he gets off entirely on extreme emotional distress. I got all kind of corn in my teeth. Wish I could do more, Elliot. He's one of those like, I'm so fucking smart. Here's Come in here. Worth an hour. Here we go. <laughs> Not worth much now. <laughs> ah! He must be pretty proud of his mm -hmm. son. I just got like a bite of onion. Get in here, everybody. I don't mind store. people on fries as much. It's true. But like in burritos, I feel like it's just overpowering. Overwhelming. I love it. Tell me again how it happened, how you murdered that baby. You don't actually think you're gonna get me to confess something, do you? But that's not why you're really here, is it? Mm, this is so good. You're gonna shoot me now. <laughs> yeah, that's where Bob I'm having a hard time stopping, stopping myself. <laughs> Have you eaten your burrito? No. no. Me neither. That still mm -hmm. hurts. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna eat some of it. You're ready. With kids. Yes. Children as well. Follow up. Why don't you do anything to protect your family? Killing a child? No, I don't see myself doing that. Maybe that's what you know what your problem is. You understand that impulse. You know exactly why I did what I had to do. Protect what you have by destroying it. No, I didn't destroy anything. Wow. Except a child. Think about it. I didn't destroy anything. Disgusting. Just think about it. Did he say think about it? Yeah, he said just think about it. That's why he said I didn't destroy anything. Nicole and I agreed to meet. Trying to sell her marriage. Oh, God damn. <laughs> I was waiting at the restaurant and all I could think was she's with him. She 
Chiefs and band and have murdered her. Oh boy, poor, poor guy. You're laughing at me. There's that thing, right? As a psychiatrist. Men are afraid women are going to laugh at them. Women are afraid men are going to kill them. <laughs> Murder or rape. You only describe it as a textbook total break with reality. And then suddenly I was How convenient, running across huh? the park finding her and so acting solely on this powerful emotions. They have some more information. They passed for you. I mean, like, it's I didn't... I know I when they walk in like that, that they're like we're being controlled by someone else. I mm. look back now, and I can't I need some believe floss. what happened to the woman I love. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's all. You got a baby out of her stomach. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised People she's like so calm. Your friend has no knowledge of this evidence. Which one detectives only just Knock brought? Off. Bring that over here. <laughs> Did she say, "Knock it off"? Knock it off, kids. Uh oh. This evidence was not made available in discovery. Can't be presented. This is an extraneous matter, not material to the charge. The people had no duty to tender upon discovery. I'm letting it in. Oh. Assuming Miss Cabot convinces me it's relevant. Request the recess to confirm my client. So what, you can advise him to lie? He's on the stand and he's staying there. <laughs> Step back. Break it said. down, no. Alec. Dr. Manning, you testified that you snapped because your wife told you she was having an affair. And that her unborn child was fathered by another man, causing you to attack her and cut the child from her body. Is that correct? Yes. How did you know she was telling you the truth? Why would she lie about that? Were you unable to have children, Dr. Manning? I'm capable of having children. And were you having sexual relations with your wife seven months prior to her attack? Yes. But you took her word for it that she was having an affair. I knew about that before she told me. For how long? From the beginning? Close to it. Then it's fair to say you would know, probably, if your wife was having an affair with yet another man. Objection is only a Is it at all possible your wife was having an affair that you didn't know about? <laughs> no, absolutely not. How do you know this? I am aware of what goes on in my own house. So the only two people who could have possibly <laughs> fathered the full man's child were yourself and Connor. Oh God, they're gonna be like, because he wasn't the father. She told me it was him. People swore. You killed your own. The paternity yeah. test against Nicole Manning's child and Kyle Novacek. And in fact, Mr. Novacek is not the father. Objection. So the logical deduction is that you were the father of your wife's child, Dr. Manning. Whether he was right or not about the paternity of the fetus has no bearing on this state of mind. Overruled. Isn't it probable, Dr. Manning, that you were the father of your wife's child? You killed your baby. Oh. How could you have known? You were so sure he couldn't have been your child. But he had to be, Dr. Manning. There's no other explanation, is there? You held your own child in your hands. Your own living child. And you killed your baby. Did he cry? Did your son cry before you killed him? Yeah, you're like, oh, fuck. That was your baby. <laughs> These are their stories. 
Sometimes you could like almost taste like a flowery taste. Today, no such address. 
phone numbers out of service, too. That's why I was looking for Luis this morning. Her name is Maria. Maria Ramos. 522 Cherry Street. That's in the middle of the East River Park. Now, she would have had to show proof of her current address to register the village, right? Yeah, I have a copy of her lease. I mean, she enrolled the boys last month. Everything seemed in order. It's a standard form. She could have bought it at any station. Okay, is there a father? No, well, not in any of the paperwork. Must be out of the picture. What about an emergency contact number? Mm. That's where she works. No, just her home number. But I know she has a job. Luis takes Miguel to a youth center on Essex Street every day after school. Miguel and Luis are regulars. We try to keep these latchy kids off the street and out of trouble. That's what we're trying to find out. Are there any friends that we can talk to? Yeah. Hey, Kevin. That's cool. They got um, martial arts. That's up, Mr. Pence. These detectives need some information. This is Kevin McDonald. He's one of our counselors. How can I help you? Tell us about the Ramos brothers. Two great kids. I mean, Luis is one step away from his red belt. And he's got a mean flying sidekick. Have you ever seen their mother pick them up from mm -hmm. school? Yeah, she Shut was up. here yesterday. Comes by once a week. The rest of the time, Luis is not Miguel's father. He makes sure nobody messes with him. Anybody know where they live? I want Miguel home one night when Luis was out sick. Nobody named Ramos on here. I lived in a building for four years. I never put my name on the buzzer. Alright, Mr. Super. What's that look like?